Hey everyone, it's Jana from Ballerinas by Night. Um, I have like a cold or allergies or something. So pardon my voice, but it is Saturday the... Is it the 30th of September? I think it is. And I thought I would um, just vlog again today. I didn't vlog on my Canada trip um, that I told you guys about in my last video. Uh, we got back late Monday night and it was just an incredible trip. Like. We had so much fun. Like my husband and I, we do road trip type of things really, really well. Um, and this was that kind of um, road trip scenery kind of thing. I did an Instagram post and shared some photos from the trip. So if you haven't seen that, you can check it out. But yeah, it was just like, everything was just absolutely breathtaking and like unreal. Like the photos don't even do it justice and the photos are like incredible. So if you ever find yourself available to go to Banff, Jasper, Alberta, um, definitely do it it's incredible yeah i decided not to vlog on the trip just because like the the photo stuff was like so much fun for me and it's just it's a whole other aspect to add video to it and it was our anniversary trip so i was you know i didn't want to like make it a whole production um so it was just the right amount of uh, documentation so um i can share more on our blog if you guys want to see more photos from that trip but today is saturday i was going to go to a ballet class at noon um but as i'm like I'm just not, like every time I like turn my head over, like all of this like drainage comes up and it's just, I don't know, I couldn't, I didn't want to like go to class not feeling 100%. And yesterday at the brewery we did, at the brewery we did an October, I don't, oh my god, I can't even talk, oh my gosh. We did an Oktoberfest event and it was incredibly busy, really successful, um, but it just physically, you know, exhausted me so my body like was aching last night so i think i've decided today i'm just gonna give myself a bar here at my dance room something really like flowy and melty and juicy and like comfortable because i just really could use that and then uh later this afternoon evening i'm gonna do another ballet photo shoot so that's what's on the agenda and i just thought this is this is the video i have time to make this week so i hope you guys enjoy another vlog. Um, I do need to still clean my dance room, as you guys would have seen in my last video. Um, it's still in the same state it was in before, if not even more of a mess. I haven't even, ne my husband and I, neither of us have unpacked our suitcases from Monday night. We got in at like 1 a.m. on Monday night, and it's just, we've literally like hit the ground running since we got back. I'm pretty terrible about unpacking when I get back from trips, but Trey is really good about it, and even his suitcase is still, like it's still packed like we literally have like pulled out like our our like toiletry bags and that's it <laughs> like we haven't done anything all week so tomorrow that's on the agenda to get all the laundry caught up and everything so but today is my dance day because man do i need it <laughs> first thing <laughs> first is to clear out some space so i can actually uh do class in here Okay, ballet room is all cleaned up and cozied up and I think I might just turn these lights off and do a cozy bar. So my focus with this class today is to really think about staying lifted through my abdominals. I'm just like determined to get that crap back in place because it's so much easier to dance um, when that's in control. So that is my goal is to work slowly and just have time to concentrate on that. Um, so next week when I go back to class, maybe I'm just, you know, that much further along. I'm gonna dance with Abby. I'm gonna do one of her bar videos, um, her basic ballet bar. I think that's what it's called, basic ballet bar. So I've just got her here on my phone. And so I'm gonna dance with Abby because I'm really, really, really missing her. And also this is a good bar. My goodness you guys this kitty cat just like wandered up on my porch my camera will focus there's a kitty cat I just showed up and started laying on my porch while I'm like trying to concentrate with Abby's instructions on the video and it's really hard oh it's so cute also I just messaged Abby on Facebook and I was like I'm doing your basic ballet bar and I'm sweating to death it's like such a good workout <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
okay that was a good bar i'm all nice and sweaty and i'm gonna take like 20 minutes and make myself stretch i've been doing um katie morgan's there's a stretch video routine stretch and flexibility video that she has i am just like the least flexible i've ever been in my entire life right now like i was doing a bar stretch just now and like normally my left leg is my more flexible leg and i can always like i've always been able to just like rest my head on my knee on a bar stretch and like i can barely bend over my left leg like it's i can like barely do it it's so tight so i know the only way to make it not tight is to stretch it out on top of still going to get massages i'm trying to make myself take the time to stretch because it's really painful in like my everyday life too that i'm just like so stiff right now so i'm trying to rectify the issue and hopefully it will get better so i'm gonna do that video again i also like it because i can repeat the same things and then i can tell if i'm making any progress with my flexibility or not we'll see how it goes i'm feeling extra extra stiff today though <laughs> It is uh, much later. It's now like 7.30 and um, I just finished my shoot with my dancer. My allergies are like super um, annoyed right now. <laughs> and the shoot went really well. We had a really good time. She has like amazing extensions. So uh, we did some kind of like Swan Lake themed things, which was really fun. So oh, you could probably barely understand me because I'm so like stopped up and this isn't focusing. Here we go. Anyway, I don't think I caught up after I did my bar class and my stretching, but I was very excited about my stretching when I did like, when I bent straight over my legs sitting on the ground, I was able to like grab both of my feet, which has been a struggle, which is really sad. That's usually like very easy for me. So that was good. I could tell I made some progress um, in that way. Um, and then I made an Instagram post, just kind of talking about how I've been feeling about ballet lately. And I wasn't sure I wanted to like talk about it because I, like I've said before, I'm like a perfectionist and I just want everything to be good. And, um, but I like wrote about how I've been feeling and I already feel better just like externalizing it. And like, you know, when you say something, it's like you can have control over it and work to make it better. So like, basically I was just saying like ballet hasn't been a priority for me the past few months and it's like always been a priority for me like as a hobby obviously like a job or whatever has to come first but like besides that like ballet's always been like where my priority lies and in the past two months since leaving my job you know working for our business has been all consuming and mentally I just haven't had like the space to think about ballet like usually it's in the back of my mind even if I'm like you know not even remotely doing anything related to it sorry this is getting really annoying okay i found some light um and i gotta deal with my shadow <laughs> anyway so i was saying like what was i saying basically i've just been feeling really sad that i haven't had like the mental space to think about class or think about creating content here and then i hate talking about um, not having time to create content because I, I just think that's annoying like I think you're either gonna create it or you're not and don't talk about it but um, here I am talking about it so I'm, I don't know I'm just really missing Abby and like filming together and like creating stuff together I, I don't know I'm just kind of rambling but basically I guess what I was what I was saying in the Instagram post is like my kind of like my spark for ballet is kind of like really lulled right now and like I don't think I've ever 
felt that before so it's very it's a very strange feeling and it, like I'm scared essentially I'm just like really scared that it's, this is like a permanent state of mind and that's been like one of my worst fears ever is like falling out of love with ballet and I don't think that I that I am I think it's just like I've never like I'll go like multiple days without thinking about ballet and that is really not normal for me like I'm like always thinking about it um, so I'm just sort of like don't know what how to like re respond to that how to like handle that but um, that's what's going on so I don't know maybe you can relate I've had some really nice comments on my Instagram post already you know talking about how it's just you know a phase and we've got to go through it and um, the spark will come back and I, I do think it will I think a part of it is I'm just really overwhelmed with um, everything that's new with like the business and trying to get a handle on things but um, I'm impatient and I don't want to wait for things to settle down I want to do everything and I want to do everything well and I want to enjoy everything right now um, so anyway you guys are so great um, I'm just like really glad that we have this outlet to connect on and talk to people about this kind of stuff because like you know dancers and like emotions and stuff it's like a whole different category than like having emotions about other things I feel like like a lot of people just don't understand like if you're feeling sad about dancing then like normal people would just tell you to stop but it's like but I don't want to stop I'm just like sad at the moment or I don't know if sad is the word I'm just sort of like neutral it's very strange I'm gonna keep going to class and I'm gonna keep making some more time for myself if I can to just work at my own pace in my little studio just listen to my body and try to to do what I can with it and push in the areas that I can push and slow down in the areas that I need to slow down and yeah I think that's about all I can do <laughs> yeah I think that's gonna be it for today's video I'm gonna go take some more allergy medicine and I'm gonna sit on the couch and drink some tea maybe I'm just decompressed I have another shoot tomorrow afternoon so I really need to like rest up and be prepared for that so I hope you guys are having a really great week I don't know what's coming up next for us on YouTube but I know I can keep vlogging like once a week that's easier for me to do at this point than like an in-studio video so if you like that let me know if the vlogs are like not as fun <laughs> and annoying then I won't do them either I do owe you guys corrections from August and September I, I make notes on my phone you know after class of like what's been happening but like literally I just like I leave class and and like my my memory is just gone like I don't even remember combinations that we've done I don't remember anything from class it's terrible and so I'm having a really hard time remembering corrections so I am gonna try to get that figured out <laughs> to make that video for you guys oh man okay I really really need to go I'm, I sound so terrible I really need to stop talking so um, thank you guys for watching this video um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you made it this far uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel here and follow us on Instagram and Facebook and I will see you guys in my next video bye